Um, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem Kakudash, the honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, the good will. He used to say, Taste to the Akim, this question is word, the truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. This is the brother Zayana Ma from the GMS Detroit Black Camp. It's going to be a quick video through the spirit, you know, because, um, you know, the hopeful elect, you know, we praying that the Lord has mercy upon our soul, you know. Just in that statement, the hopeful elect, right? No, no brother that you see out here, we don't know. All right, we're going to do what the elect would do, but we don't know. All right, that's why we hope to be of the elect, all right? So in doing this work, you know, we basically pray, we pray you know, daily that, that the Lord... Will um will have mercy upon our soul that 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 Lord willing will be justified through the Spirit by way of our works, you know, by way of you know um alms, by being brother, you know, the fruits of the Spirit, you know, a hey, just pray that the Lord will have mercy upon us, you know, because you know, a hey, at the end of the day, you know. At least we're, we're putting forth some effort. You know, two-thirds of our people ain't doing shit. You know, we're, we're the only ones that's standing up for our nation. All right? We, we the ones that's on the front line. You know? As the scriptures say, uh, what's that? Uh, Proverbs 8, I believe, probably like 31. It said, oh, uh, unto you men... You know, unto you, old men, I call. You know, the Lord is calling forth his men <coughs> to stand up, you know, to be watchmen. So, hey, that's what we're doing through the Spirit. So, in doing that work, we pray that the Lord has mercy on us, that he fights for us, and that he destroys our enemy, you know, that he allows our enemy, all right, to let the dust of our, of our feet. You know, that he gives us that rulership, that's those spiritual powers, right? The promises, the kingdom, right? That's what we look forward to because we know it's going to happen, all right? But um, I just wanted to read this in uh, Sarat, the 36th chapter, because I thought it kind of uh, sums up, you know, what, what I'm trying to convey. So real quick, this is uh, Sarat. Or Ecclesiasticus, all right, in the Apocrypha, all right, um, 36 and 1, it says, Have mercy upon us, O Lord, o Lord God of all, and behold us, and send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. All right, see, these are the nations not checking for the Lord. Right? Why? Simply put, they, they don't have to. All right? They didn't make a covenant with the Heavenly Father. So they, there is no relationship there. There's nothing established. Right? So there's nothing to, um, to, uh, 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 it's just basically it's no history there. You know? The Lord established His covenant with the nation of Israel. The so-called Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans of today, right? Those people are Israelites, right? And those are the ones that's held accountable, all right, through the spirit of, of um, you know, calling upon the Lord, having the fear of the Lord. You know, we're directly connected to the Heavenly Father and His Son. He's our power source, all right? It says, lift up thy hand against the strange nations. Right? All the nations outside of the nation of Israel, they're strange. They're strangers. They're foreigners. They don't belong, okay? They don't belong, or they're not on the same level, you know, as, as Israel, right? And Israel, okay, is, is the chosen nation. All these other nations are just basically set up just to serve us in the kingdom where, where we won't have to lift a finger 
We won't have to look over our shoulder. Right? We won't have to be ridiculed. We won't, like, you know, we're going to truly live in that day. We're going to truly have comfort, truly have rest, truly have a peace of mind, you know? It says, as thou... Let's see. Let's see what I think. It says, um... Yeah, lift up thy hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power as thou wast sanctified in us before them so be thou magnified among them before us and let them know thee as we have known thee that there is no God but only thou O power show new signs and make other strange wonders glorify thy hand and thy right arm Alright, the right arm of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh Shai. Alright, and he's, he's, he's glorified him. Alright, and, and, and by way of Yahweh Shai, alright, dying for the nation of Israel and raising them up after three days, you know. He's been glorified through the Spirit by making him second in command, by making him where we ate, we ate, by making him the mediator, you know. So now we have to worship him. We got to praise his son as well. You know, it says, and let them know thee as we have known thee. And there is no God, but only thou, O power, show new signs and may other strange wonders glorify thy hand and thy right arm that they may set forth thy wondrous works. Um, raise up indignation. And pour out wrath, take away the adversary, and destroy, uh, and destroy the enemy. All right. So that's what we're looking for the heavenly Father to do. We we like we looking for the heavenly Father to make a move, essentially. All right. To actually move on these devils, to judge these devils, to judge these heathen nations. All right. To fight for us. To to uh, to um. You know, basically show that the whole time that the Heavenly Father had loved us. You know, the Lord was just putting us through some trials and tribulations, all right? Just to um, basically get our act together, all right? To see that we did wrong. But we pray for our enemies to, to fall so that we can rule, you know? You know, no two nations can coexist in rulership, all right? It's always... You know, a hierarchy, and then you have subjects or servants, all right? And um, that's what we we, we uh, pray to receive. We pray to be kings, ruling with a rod of, rod of iron, all right? It says, raise up in the nation and pour out wrath, take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. Sate the time short, remember the covenant, and let them declare thy wonderful words. Let him that escapeth. Be consumed by the rage of the fire. All right? We want this place to be destroyed by way of the missiles. All right? That's the fire. That's the rage of fire. All right? That's going to put this place down. You know, we, we pray for that to happen because we know, hey, we can't receive the kingdom without these things happening. These things have to come to pass to show that the most high word is true. All right? That's why they call it prophecy. The things that were said before time, all right, have to play out. Okay? It says, smite and, it says, and let the perish that oppress thy people. And let them perish that oppress the people. You know? We, we are oppressed all the day long. You know, you got these other nations, they mock us. All right? They done gave, gave us some old bullshit names, you know? Right, we've been discontinued from our heritage, you know. At a point, they would allow us to read, you know. They they slay us in the street. They hung us, you know. They, I mean, they've done all matters of wickedness unto the children of Israel. You know, they 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 forded, you know, they they went too far. All right, they they overstepped their boundaries. All right, so in that, hey, we we pray for justice. Hey, right, hey, the scripture says a righteous thing that could recompense 
those that trouble us. So, hey, we, we you know, we in the right state of mind by by hoping for these things, by being able to to um, to basically do what they did unto us. All right. That's it's only fair. It's only right. You know, it says uh, there is none other but we gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit thou them as from the beginning. So hey, we're looking for the Lord to establish what he first set up. All right. It was set up for us to rule in the first place. But, you know, we, we had to go through a, um, a crash course of, 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 of rulership. All right. We had to know, learn good and evil. All right. We had to go through trials and tribulations to, to understand what patience is, what faith is. All right. So we, we had to be taught these things, all right? And the only way you can truly be taught these things is through a life experiences. You got to go through it, all right? I can't just verbally tell you. You got to experience it, all right? Because, it, 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 you know, it sticks. You know, things tend to stick when you actually are hands-on, all right? It says, um, O Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name. And upon Israel, whom thou hast named thy firstborn. Okay. You know, so, hey, we, we pray that the Lord has mercy, you know, right, on, on the elect, on the hopeful elect, whoever that may be. You know, we hope that our works are, uh, you know, just, just justifiable through the spirit, you know, that, that we be counted blameless, you know. And not be judged with, you know, these these other two thirds, you know. And um, hey, we're we're basically at the mercy of the Lord. So hey, you know, that's all that's all I wanted to share with this video at this time. You know, Lord one of them was edifying with that. I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yabashai, Bashim Kakudash, the honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone that we will. Peace and salutation to the Ikem that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom.